Hi guys, it's Ratchet Throw, and today we're gonna continue playing Criminal Case, Case 41, Seeds of Death, let's look Chapter 2. And yeah, Sandstorm is on its way to Dust Star. you need to go there before it scatters all the evidence away. Dust Star, but why would we find evidence about Bruce Green's murder there, Chief? Because I know this, this is like the back of my hand, and Dust Star is the only road the killer could have taken to get in and out of the oil well. Now go to the town before the sandstorm, sandstorm hits, and make sure to protect your faces from the sand. Okay, sad story, you say, huh? Okay. Let's, let's investigate the certain street, okay. This is kind of more and more exciting, I mean, sad story. Like, we, did, we didn't have that yet. We could, I remember we had a hurricane back in Chastown. But now we got sandstorm, huh? Okay, flag. Uh, yellow book, where's that? Oh, vultures, you say? Everything about vultures. Oh, interesting. And what you're taking? Okay, newspaper clipping. Call for bits, huh? Okay, what do you got, doggy? Okay. Katria, this is insane. It's like the desert is about to swallow this town hall. Okay, I like the animation, by the way. <laughs> I think you found new clues about Bruce Greensboro. How did you even manage to see them in that wind? Oh, this book is called Everything About Vultures. A book about the birds used to murder Bruce. What are the odds? I agree, this book must be the killers. They must have read, read up on vultures before the murder and dis discard the book on their way back from the oil well. The book is staying with some kind of liquid. Can you collect a sample, Katrina? What about that paper breeds grow food in the desert and there's a picture of coal growing out on the, of the sand. That's a project that Victor was working on. Here it looks like some like something up for our auction. The mammal list could tell us more, but it's torn in half. You'll have to somehow decipher it. And this paper shows another plan. Half of it is faded. Well, can I get your dusty kit out? I'll shield you from the wind. Okay. Okay, that's something new. I like the animation that. Okay. Everything about fortress, let's do that first. Uh, what's that supposed to be? Uh, what? Water? Or... I know, substance, okay. The sensor is no obstacle to your skills, cut here. Let's get sample you collect from the curious book to the lab. Okay. How long is it gonna take you? Six hours. Okay, let's do this newspaper clip. Call for bits. Throw for the desert option number. This one? Okay. This one? And that one. Oh, I'm doing well. <laughs> Separate the auction number on this call for bids about the victim's core approach. Listen to him. Okay. And how long does that take you? Nine hours? No, twelve. Jeez. Okay, let's see this faded picture. Bruce can't be Did you figure out what was written on that picture you found in the town? The message is Bruce can't be one with the nature inside, but certain as a hope. Can't be one with nature? Could this desert hope be another colleague of our victim? I'll text Hannah to get an address. Got it, he lives in nearby. Let's talk to Mr. Hope, Katarina. Oh, who the heck is this guy? He seems to be weird. Jeez. Okay, already weird when he's shirtless. I mean, look at him. Are you, are you Ezra Hope? Are you on drugs or police officer growing? Mr. Hope, where could I found this match she wrote to Bruce Green? Were you too close? Ah, yeah, the green man. He's pretty cool. I like the way he always babbles on about science, science and stuff. And he brings me some flower seeds. He knows I love them. Well, we're sorry to tell you that Mr. Green's dead. He was murdered. Someone murdered the green man? Not cool, man. I like smoking with him. Smoking? I really think I really like to get high. 
How I like the waters in the sky. For a scientist, he was pretty down with the beauty of nature. I'll miss him. Oh fuck. Drug addict. Okay, we gotta wait for Unknown Stops in auction number to finish. So see you a little bit. Hey, guess what? We finally got a criminal case, huh? But yes, let's take a letter of that book on Walters is unrefined oil. That was oil, but it's transferred in shine and isn't oil always black. That's what it looks like because someone tried to clean it up. The oil was mixed with cleaning agents, but oil isn't that easy to get rid of. It. So I basically tried to clean the book after the murder, but why? Oil wells are pretty messy. If oil got on that book, you can bet it got on the killer's clothes too. And no matter how much they tried to clear it out, they won't have managed. So what you're saying that the killer has an oil stain on their clothes? Well, the have a stay on their police record one day, Katrina. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, okay, we already seen some of some of us got some oil on their clothes. Wait, who was that? Okay, this girl. Not for him. Okay, this guy and this guy. Okay, those three. This guy, nothing. So, let's get started. An auction number. So I had a look at the auction number is 7 because the auction was set up by the victim in order to sell his research in the desk before. The auction was advertised to all the biggest companies and a lot of them were ready to pay big bucks for such an opportunity. I don't get it, Bruce Associates said they were looking for the good of the people. They didn't seem to have been in for the money. Well, that's where it gets tricky. Just his name isn't mentioned anywhere in the auction papers. In fact, the victim took complete credit for the scientific discoveries they made. So the victim decided to sell their work and didn't even intend to share the profits with Jess. I agree with that. She must have been furious. Let's go talk to her. Oh, so you have been furious about that, huh? Just because you... He didn't mention you, huh? Jeez, why are people doing this to... This is practical. Medical team found this call for bits. The victim posted, We know he was trying to sell your discoveries to the highest bidder. If I were you, I have wanted to kill him for betraying everything you'd work for. So you figured it out, Commander. I didn't want to speak ill of the dead, but yes, Bruce was just a money grabbing team. You, you know, he didn't even tell me about the auction, and when I confronted him, he acted as if it didn't concern me. I was so mad I had my first ass by attacking the news. What Bruce did, did to me, I never saw it coming. I really thought he wanted to make the world a better place like me. I told him, when the last trees cut down the last fish eater and the last tree poison, you will realize that you cannot eat money. At least now he's dead, the auction will not go through. Quite a fortunate turn on, uh, of events for you. Yes, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy about that. I worked for years on this project, I spent countless nights spent over my microscope eating sunflower seeds by the package just to keep me going. And I'll share this scary with the people who will use it to, to, to do good. good. This will never again be a boring place, Commander Katarina. Okay, so now you're angry. First, at first, nothing you see. I think so, she's still gonna be sad, I, I forgot on that. And now you're angry. Why? Why are you all doing acting just like that, huh? I can't imagine how mad Jess must have been at Bruce Betrayal. Who knows what she may have done out of anger. You're right, dude. Eddie may have had other dirty secrets. We should have another look around his lab. Okay. Again. To your lab, huh? Why are you hiding now? Amy Farrah Fowler. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's get an experimental greenhouse. And a greenhouse, you say, huh? Okay, that's seem like it, but that's fine. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do we got here? Torn up. Oh, what's that sh supposed to be, huh? Uh, bad feel. Uh, microfilm, huh? What's that supposed to be? Oh, there you are. What the fuck is that, huh? Uh, where's the dustpan? There you are. And to do list. How many stars do I got? Four of them. Okay. What are those bits of stone doing with this lab? I agree. Better put them back together. Maybe a new one. But that roll of film is so tiny. Is that a microfilm like spies used in movies to record secret information? How thrilling. You're right. Someone tried to burn this microfilm, but a code is still faintly visible on it. They it's time to use the spy tactics to suffering skills. Well. You know me, huh? I'm a pro here and you are you are all stupid and stupid. You might have gotta do this microfilm first because you know what what you need there. Okay. Ah, ah. 
this one. Fuck. Huh, <sighs> finally. Okay. I knew you do this good thing. Decide where the code on that microphone find which is lab in no time at all. Now it's kind of to exercise her skills and crack the code. Let's get this microphone to her. Yeah, let's do this. Twelve hours. Jeez. Fuck. I hate waiting. For too long. <laughs> Here you go. What? Wait, what's happening? I can't see a thing! Hey! Wait. Okay, got a little lag here. What the fuck was that? A glitch? Jeez, I don't know. Oh, Bruce, you shouldn't play God, huh? This threat on the rock you put back together. It says, Bruce, you shouldn't play God. Hey, is that is that true that video being swallowed by a vulture? Talk about foreshadowing? Who would have sent this threat to the waiting cut? Now, of course, an elaborate call for drawing the reference to a god. This must be the work of Sewell. Let's go bust his ass with chops, Catherine. Oh, it's you again. I really dislike this guy. Okay, when I first met him, he seemed to be very suspicious. I made a look at him. Okay. Mr. Zuma, when Katrin found this sculpture is sent to Bruce, didn't you say you were friends? You'd even given him that headgear? Yes, I treated Bruce like a friend. I welcomed him into our Isaac ways, and in many ways I respected him. But it doesn't mean I approved of everything he did. He thought often about his unnatural experiments and his god complex. You mean you thought because Bruce wanted to grow corn in the desert? I know he was in need for the money, but it would still have made the desert a better place and fed tons of people. Why he want to chase the desert? Mother Nature made the desert dry for a reason. It is not the desert which must change, it is man. Look around you, Comedica Dia. Mankind has destroyed nature. It has polluted every every inch of it. And now mankind must pay. Oh, okay. So you have chosen to reduce the experiments because you think we should all die for polluting the earth? You're mad. Sometimes things need to die to regrow stronger than before. It is like a delicious sunflower seed. Small and grey like a dead thing, but inside there is new life. Oh jeez, go fuck yourself. Okay, yeah, I but I think he is right about that pollution thing and all that. I mean pollution is just getting bigger and bigger today. Okay. See you a little bit. <sighs> we are finally back. Here we go. What's this code about, huh? Continue I feel like it's my bird. The microphone finally made this lab was such a treat. I haven't been faced with such a challenge in a long time. I could you a tree from the microphone, I trace it back to the GIA service. The GIA as a government investigation authority. They're in charge of national security, aren't they? How would the government be snooping around our victim's lab? Well, you could try as the agent in charge of keeping watch on your victim. Does that mean you managed to get a name? No real name, those are even more healthy and creepy, but I got you his code name. A certain agency was in charge of keeping track of the victims every move. Code name, huh? And you also got that that thing on your clothes. Okay. I managed to crack the GIS route just long enough to send a message to this agency. He's waiting for you in the interrogation room, Katoya. Okay, so I'm going to talk with I don't know how to describe this guy. James Bond. Agent 007. Okay, this guy. This time, Agent C, huh? Agent Z is it. What does the C stand for? Zebra? That is classified information. Commander Katia have been contacted by unauthorized means. I only came by to warn you the GIA will not permit this again. Well, the thing is, you are suspecting a word of investigation. Mr. Z. Mr. Z. Okay. <laughs> Commander Katia found your mic microfilm in the lab where Bruce Green used to work. And when we decipher this microfilm, we discover you had been ta tasked with keeping tabs on the victim. Why were you spying on Bruce Green? You did not have clearance to look at that microfilm's contents, Commander Katia. I will have to file a report with the GIA. Oh jeez, I'm police too. We can't do anything to me. File all the reports you want, but we'll find you weakness, Mr. C, and you'll have to talk. The only weakness I have is asthma, and that's never stopped me before. Oh, so you got asthma, huh? The government wanted to make sure Mr. Green could proceed with his research safely. I am, it might have caught the attention of dangerous people. So you were assigned to protect the victim? Well, that didn't bring him much luck, did it? Stay close, Mr. C. We'll be in touch. Okay, guy with a very weird name. Okay, I mean code name. But what's his real name, huh? 
The dear things have surely taken an unexpected turn in this investigation. So the series covered that Darby was not trying to grow corn in the desert to help him, but to make money by selling it to the highest bidder. Just selling what we trail must have been extreme, maybe extreme enough to kill. And as if things weren't bad enough, Secret Agent was keeping tabs on waiting because of his research. Unless I forget Zuma, who thinks humanity must pay for mistreating the earth. Honestly, I'm not sure this guy's gonna get any weird. Oh, it's you again. What do you want now, drunk guy? Gotta get there. That's the best. Only really bad. I think I'm pretty sure I killed the green man. What? You did this, huh? How can you be so sure? You must have did this, not to be sure. Jeez, why are you all doing all this? But I think it's him. Okay, we're gonna stop here and we're gonna continue in chapter three. Fuck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video. And I'll see you again. Goodbye.